Welcome to Time to Cook. I'm Chef Christy and today I'm excited to show you how to make a meal that was inspired after I ate at a Mexican restaurant. I fell in love with this dish and I said I have got to make this when I go home. And it is called Choy Pollo, which is a dish with chorizo, chicken, pineapple, and a queso blanco. So I'm going to, I have these, these ingredients here, but I want to show you how I prep them and use them in this dish. It's fast, easy, and delicious, so I hope that you try it and love it. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so you want to use chorizo, and this is my favorite brand. It's Johnsonville Chorizo, and it is one pound, but I am going to actually, I'm not going to use all of this. If you're making a larger portion than you can, I'm just going to cut it in half and I'm going to take half of it and put it in a, a freezer Ziploc bag that I've labeled chorizo and I'm just going to put this in my freezer for the next time. You can use chorizo in many dishes. Uh, maybe it's with tacos. You can add it to your taco meat or you can just use chorizo in tacos. You could add it to um, eggs in, in a frittata or just an egg scramble. It is delicious. And all chorizo is, is a sausage that has been seasoned with paprika and just other different spices. And it's definitely used uh, in Mexico and in, in South America. They love chorizo. So that is what it is. And I'm just, I just want to show you how I do it because I, I, I do not, not like to waste food. So I put that in my freezer and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so now I have three chicken breasts here and I want to cut them and butterfly them and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not hard. Okay, so what I did was I put saran wrap down on top of my counter uh, and then I'm just going to go in with a sharp knife and just hold your chicken breast and just kind of go in almost to the end and then you're just going to open it up and that is all it is and then I want to show you how I'm going to pound that out. I butterflied all of them and I've laid them out and then I put saran wrap over top of them and then I'm just going to take the smooth the smooth end of my meat mallet and I'm just going to pound them a little not a lot just pound them a little bit and I'll show you what that looks like and then we're going to do the rest of the dish. Okay they're all pounded out and now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle each piece with salt and pepper, not, not a whole lot, but you do want to add some salt and pepper to them and flip them over and do the other side. And then I will continue to show you the next steps. I'm just gonna sprinkle some pepper. Okay, I have a hot cast iron skillet and I'm just gonna take that other half of my chorizo and I'm gonna place it in there. And you don't need to add any oil because there's enough fat that's in this chorizo that will render out. So you don't, you don't need the oil, but just, uh, just gonna continue to brown this up and then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, my chorizo is almost done. And the reason why I like this particular brand is because it has a coarser texture to the to the uh, meat once it's cooked. Some chorizo is is you can buy in a tube and it just has a finer texture and I, I like the bigger texture. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take it off and put it on a paper towel that's lined, I mean, a plate that's lined with a paper towel and then I'm going to do this and then I'll I'll show you the next step. So I have removed all of my chorizo and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the chicken breast and I'm going to add it right to um, the pan and it has some of the um, oil in it that is from the chorizo that fat and that's going to add flavor to your chicken. I'm going to try to arrange them all in here so I can get all three pieces. See if I can do it. Yeah. All right. So, I put the side down that had the salt and pepper, so I'm going to add some salt and pepper to the other side, and I'm going to let this fry up for a couple minutes, and then I'll turn it over and do um, more on the other side. Okay, so while my chicken is frying, I do want to show you um, what I use to garnish the top, which is a queso fresco. I buy it in a, in a block. But I'm not going to necessarily use all of this cheese at once. 
So what I do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut it into fourths and then I'm going to put one fourth in a Ziploc bag, label it queso fresco and put that in my freezer. I don't know if you're like me, but I, I hate it when I pull up in my drawer of cheese or produce and things have went bad. So this, it stays really nice in the, in the freezer, but this cheese is a nice crumbling cheese. You can add it to salads on the top of many di different dishes, but I don't use it that often, so I am going to freeze it. And I just wanted to give you a tip and show you what I do. Okay, so my, while my chicken is cooking, I've got a, a nice hot grill pan, and what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to grill my pineapple. And I am going to place three pieces that you can put as many on there as you want. But I'm just going to put one pineapple per serving of chicken. And then I want to show you what I do with the extra pineapple. Okay, so all I'm going to do with my extra pineapple, and I know this is silly, but I can't help it. This is how I do things. I save my juice. And I'm just putting it into a water bottle that um, I rinsed. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this in the freezer, but you can add this to um, smoothies. You can add it to different, like, different punches and things like that. And then I'm going to take my leftover pineapple, put it in a Ziploc bag, and I'm going to freeze that as well. And I can add that to smoothies. So I just wanted to give you that tip. Okay, my chicken has been cooking for probably 20 minutes, about 10 minutes on each side. I flipped it in between. So now I'm going to take my chorizo and I'm just going to sprinkle this all around back into my skillet. All right. I'm going to sprinkle this around and then I'm going to take some of this delicious queso blanco and I'm going to have the recipe to this and the video where I make this queso blanco, I'll have that in the link below. But I'm going to drizzle this on top of my chicken and let this all melt. And then I'm going to plate it up and show you how beautiful this looks. Okay, so I plated up my chorizo and my chicken. And what I'm going to do now is I've got some extra queso blanco. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit more because, like, we need more, right? So I'm going to sprinkle some, sprinkle, drizzle some more, some more queso blanco. And then I'm going to take our grilled pineapple and place them on top of each piece of chicken. And then I'm going to take my queso fresco and I'm going to take a fork. And this, like I said, just crumbles really easy. And you just want to take a fork and just crumble it. Oh, this this is really good cheese. It's it it is really good. So, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle the queso fresco all on top, and this is beautiful. I just cannot wait for you to try it. So, I want you to come here, and I want to I want to show you this. Okay, so now just because I want to add a little bit of color, I'm just going to sprinkle some cilantro leaves over top just to make it look spectacular. Isn't that pretty? Now, I want to show you how I plate it up. Okay, so now I'm going to plate, it, plate this up for you and show you what it looks like, if I can get it here. Um, and I've got my black bean and corn salsa on my plate to go with it. And, I mean, that is gorgeous. That looks like you went to a Mexican restaurant and ordered the choy pollo with black bean and corn salsa. So I'm going to taste this. Got to make sure that it is good. All right. Mm. Oh, that is so good. You are going to love this. I hope you try it. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, please subscribe so that you can see all of my new recipes that I'll be putting up each week. I hope you had a great time. I hope you learned something today, and we'll see you next time.